friends, my name is Pastor Inez. What's your name? Well, I'm so happy that you joined me today for Sunday School. We're going to learn a very important lesson today from the Bible. We're going to learn a very important lesson today from the Bible. Did you know that the Bible is God's word? And did you also know that everything in God's word is true? It is. God's word shows us the way. Sometimes we want to do things that are wrong or bad. And sometimes maybe other people try to get us to do things that are wrong or bad. There's a really big word for that. Do you want to know what it is? It's called temptation. I know, I told you, it's a really big word. Well, in our lesson today, we're going to learn how even Jesus was tempted. Stories of the Bible. The Temptation of Jesus. This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. Jesus was born in Bethlehem and grew up in Nazareth, where he grew in wisdom and favor with God and man. Oh, I see. Jesus was baptized by John, and God showed John that Jesus was his chosen one. Then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the wilderness among the wild animals. Oh, hey there, friend. For 40 days and 40 nights, Jesus didn't eat anything. So he was hungry. Satan came to him and said, Hey, if you are the Son of God, tell these stones to become bread. Jesus knew God's word, and so he answered, No. The Word of God says people don't live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. And so Jesus passed the first test. <laughs> then Satan took him to Jerusalem and said, If you are the Son of God, jump off. Oh, what? For the Word of God says he will order his angels to protect you, and they will hold you up with their hands so you won't even hurt your foot on a stone. Wait. But Jesus said, the Word of God also says, you must not test the Lord your God. Now. And so Jesus passed the second test. So Satan took him to the peak of a high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and all their glory. Satan said, I will give it all to you if you kneel down and worship me. But Jesus said, Get out of here, Satan, for the word of God says you must worship the Lord your God and serve only him. <laughs> then Satan went away and angels came and took care of Jesus. And so Jesus passed the third and last test. Jesus used God's word to fight the devil to fight temptation. Isn't that so cool? Friends, it's really important that we know God's word. So when we want to do something that's wrong, we remember what the Bible says. Because remember, the Bible shows us the way. That's what our memory verse says. Memory time. Let's go over our memory verse. God's word is a lamp to guide my feet and a light for my path. Let's try it again. God's word is a lamp to guide my feet and a light for my path. Good job, keep working on that. And remember, God's word shows us the way. It's really important that we know what God's word says and that we memorize it so we can do what is right. I'm so happy you joined me today. I'll see you next time. Bye!